Y'all, Nintendo has done it again. They not only have taken another fan project, they have upset the hearts and souls of many. You know, Nintendo's lawyers, they, I want to say Nintendo's lawyers are like taking in the soul of Johnny Cochran. Because they're just knocking fucks, they knocking people out the park, man. Nintendo lawyers are like, like crack to judges. Like Nintendo lawyers must say some great shit. I wish I could be in the courtroom when a Nintendo lawyer breaks down the case. Because every time Nintendo says something, people don't even fight it. They settle out of court. I mean, I've known personally people. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Settle out of court. I'm scared. I, I be watching what I say because, yo, I ain't got that. Okay, I'm going to represent myself. I'm going to come up there and be like, hey, you know, I'm hoping more fam. I'm going to do a live stream, and I hope y'all be in the stream. But nonetheless, Nintendo be wilding. They just be crazy. And they have taken another fan project. This one is a Metroid Prime 2D fan project. And not only did it get Nintendoed, Okay, yes, we're going to call it Nintendoed because that's what happens to all fan projects. They get Nintendoed. If you guys watched last week, I told you how to play Super Mario 64 on your Xbox. This is Xbox One, uh, Xbox One X, S, Series S, Series X. It don't even matter. You can play it through the, uh, the Edge browser. It won't be long before they'll stop. <laughs> it won't be long before they'll be shut down because right now there's a 2D Metroid a uh, prime game that was a fan project that spent many years in development that Nintendo has again successfully. <laughs> Good job, you assholes of Nintendo. They have successfully taken down another fan project. Back in April, a group of incredibly talented independent developers calling themselves Team SCU released an impressive demo for Prime 2D. Now, y'all know I usually don't click on stuff because I be bumping to other shit. But Prime 2D is the coolest Metroid in over a decade, okay? We're going to go ahead. I don't want to play. Hold up. Cut the sound off. Cut the sound off or a little down. So that way my voice go over to something, you know, but let's take a look. So if any of you played Metroid Prime, look at that. This is actually a 2D version of the Metroid Prime game. Yo, they spent a, look at this. And guess what happened? It got taken down by Nintendo. So, this is a 2002 first, port, uh, first person Metroid Prime, excuse me, a side-scrolling remake of 2002's first person Metroid Prime. The ambitious project had been in planning for over 15 years. Nintendo's lawyers Put an end to it in under four damn months. Do y'all hear that? Let me let me go ahead and repeat that because I don't think people heard. Hold on, let me let me get a sip. Okay, that was pretty delicious. Now, now my tongue's getting numb. It tastes pretty good. So Nintendo took down a 15-year fan-made project in under four months. Yo, their lawyers are no joke, man. They, I want to say Nintendo and the feds have a similar conviction rate. Similar, 90%. If you going in the court with Nintendo, your ass and already lost. You better get you some good lawyers. Okay. Nintendo is known for fiercely protecting its properties from fans who want to transform their passion for games like Metroid Prime into something beautiful and unique for the whole community to enjoy for free. So shutting down of Prime 2D comes as no surprise. As you see, projects that are fan projects that were made free, guess what it's doing for Nintendo? It's free publicity. It keeps people remembering the original game. They're keeping also these uh, characters intact. They're not making Samus some wild clown with fucking horns coming out his ass. They're not doing that. They're leaving Samus as is. So they're representing your IP the right way. They're not even doing it any disjustice. I can understand that. If you're coming down a storyline, something crazy. You know, Mario's not an Italian plumber. He's a, a Jamaican uh, ventriloquist or some shit. You know, that's crazy. That, that would be like turning a story something else. But they're staying true. 
That's crazy. So, Team Skew has taken down his demo for Prime 2D, as well as the soundtrack. They even took down the soundtrack and simply state legal reasons. A post from the project's Discord has been posted as an image to Reddit. Hello, dedicated fans. This is the announcement you have been dreading. We have been asked by a certain games-related company, <coughs> Nintendo, to discontinue work on Prime 2D in its current form. We have removed the demo, download, and soundtrack MP3, download. And we are currently in dialogue with that company, Nintendo, to determine how best to proceed for both parties. We thank you all. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all, Team Skew, I'm going to just tell you how it is. Nintendo, I'm going to say it for y'all. I'm going to act as if I'm y'all. Nintendo, you some assholes. You so mad that we made this game and it took so long for you to even think about it. And now you're jealous because we got all the fan support. And guess what you're going to do? You're going to take down our fan project. And I know that shit's going to show up on the eShop probably in two months. And you're going to be happy selling it. Oh, we're rich. Count our money. Oh, let's blow each other. Huh? That's all you care about. Making your money. But you don't really care about the community. You don't. Mario's been living for damn near how long now? You gonna make money forever off Mario. My, my kids, kids, kids gonna know Mario. You just been juicing that shit to the end. You got all these other characters. I ain't seen Ball Bull come out of nowhere. Okay, Ball Bull was a great character from Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Why don't you use somebody like that? Where's uh, Kid Icarus? The Kid Icarus dude, the dude with the wings, the Valentine's Day type dude. Where is he? Where's Cupid? I don't see none of these people. You ain't using them right. Guess what you doing? Okay, you sitting there taking down fan projects of already popular known franchises, shit they've been working on for over 15 years. You don't say nothing for 15 years, and then you take four months to stop it. Stop it! I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to get that out. They weren't going to say it. Team Skew was not going to say it. I had to say it for them. Okay, I had to say it. So the message continues saying that while the team knows many will be disappointed by the news and would have preferred they stay silent until the game was finished, they feel the decision to release the demo when they did was the right one. Okay? And just to go ahead and show you guys, I'm going to just show a little bit more. You know, why not? Just to show it again. You know, look at that. We would have been, we would have had that. We would have had that, man. And you know what, Nintendo, it ain't like you couldn't work with them. Look at that, all the details of it and all that. Oh, my God, man. Just stop. So, guys, again, I'm sorry. I apologize for my passion, my love. I just feel for them, man. I really feel them. Let's go to the chat. Settle a la court for $50 a week and would take 500 <laughs> Yo, say right. That's one thing about Nintendo. Hey, Nintendo will take $50 a week, man. It's been proven. They get mad if you don't pay. They get mad if you don't pay. K2, what it do? What it do? Oh, man, Chris, thank you, man. Shout out to, yes, also, man, my brother's birthday, man. How did I forget, man? I got to hold up, hold up. We got to stop all that. Let's drop another bomb. B-Y from the side. It is his B-Day today. Get my broski, my brother, his respect. I'm going to drop another bomb because he just had a kid four days before he was born, the 25th. Shout out. I got another nephew. Holler at you. I love family, man. I love family. So shout out, man. Appreciate that. And you know he got to know me. See, folks know me on here, man. A lot of y'all be knowing my personal. I can't be telling my personal business. Oh, my God. It still tastes all right, though. It's like, oh, Shane. Yeah, Shane. I, I meant to tell you, Shane. I was black. Yeah, I, I meant to say that. I know. Some people think I'm just really tan. You know, I, no, I'm black, you know. So, Mario Graffiti. I'm surprised Nintendo didn't sue the Mario Graffiti artist for cop. Yo, Joe! Ah! Give you a couple shotgun shots. Hell yeah! I'm surprised they didn't sue him either. And I'm sick and tired of these fan-made projects where these developers or these people are taking time out of their lives. 15 years. Don't you think if they had a team of 20, they could have been did that? Stop it. Oh, Sage! What is up, Sage? Where you- Ah! Sucker! Let's go. I gave you another one. I'm on fire today. What's going on, man? What's going on? Appreciate it. You know, so we just gonna wrap this up with Nintendo, calm it down. Metroid Prime 2D fan project was a good game that we were probably gonna be able to play a full-scale game. There was a demo. We probably could have had it fully done and everything, but Nintendo has ruined another one. So 
Now, this is going to everybody that has a fan-made project by Nintendo. Take your shit down. Now. Why do you still have it up? You know they're taking shit down. Let me give you an example of how I learned that lesson. I also was one that said, huh, fuck Nintendo, I don't care. And guess what happened? I had videos taken down from Nintendo. I faced a uh, copyright something, I don't know. My channel was taken for like a week, okay? I was sad. I couldn't post any videos. And guess what? I learned my lesson. I said, you know what? I am not going to do anything like that with Nintendo shit no more. Because YouTube don't even talk to you when it comes to Nintendo. They don't even talk to you. They just flag your shit. And hey, we got a process. If you want to appeal it, try. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to pow, shoot you down in two seconds as soon as Nintendo comes back. Because who is it more important to piss off? Is it more important to piss off Nintendo? Is it more important to piss off a YouTuber? We'll go ahead and piss off the YouTuber Nintendo. We don't want to piss you off, okay? Now, K2, I've been reading up on some Switch ports later this year. Crisis 2 and 3, Kingdom Come Deliverance, both made. Saber Interactive, Wonderful Witcher 3 port authors. I hope they also <laughs> do the dying light. Yo, I want to say this. You're right. A lot of people are now recognizing about these ports. And I don't know, the Switch is very popular. Like, a lot of people are trying to get games to the Nintendo Switch at all costs. And I'm like, well, damn, you got so much power in a Series X. You got so much power in a PC. You got so much power in a PlayStation 5. Why go to the Switch? The consoles that get sold on that Nintendo Switch, oh my lord. So many people in households have Nintendo Switches. They know if they can get that game on the store, you can possibly have a lot of people playing your game for Nintendo Switch. So Nintendo Switch is not slept on that eShop. It's going to continue to get a lot of games and a lot of ports because we seen what happened with Grand Theft Auto. Now we talking about the trilogy, okay? So uh, enough of that, okay? Enough of that. Metroid Prime, 2D, taken down. That was Team SCU. I call them Team Skew. I like that. 